in this short video, we're just going to have a look at specialized cells. So specialized cells are cells with a particular function inside the body. So for instance, things like muscle cells, nerve cells, blood cells, etc. So uh, we can also go and get specialized cells in plants. So the first type of plant specialized cell that I just want to quickly look at is xylem cells. So xylem cells are cells that don't go and contain anything inside. So they're hollow and they allow water to go and move up through them. Uh, inside of the small intestines, we have villi cells. So villi cells contain lots of mitochondria to give energy for active transport. And they also have a large surface area to volume ratio so they can quickly absorb any of the nutrients out of the small intestines. We've got goblet cells, right? Goblet cells, there's a range of goblet cells in the body. They produce things that like mucus or other proteins. Because they're doing this, they have a high number of ribosomes. Right, the second type of specialized cell that we find in plants are phloem cells. Right, phloem cells go and uh, carry nutrients up and down the plant. So they've got sap moving through them. And they can allow that sap to move in both directions, quite importantly. Next cell is a sperm cell. So the sperm cell is adapted to go and fertilize an egg. So it's got a tail to help it swim. Because it's doing lots of movement, it's going to have lots of mitochondria to provide energy for that. Its head has an acrosome, so some enzymes, which enable it to go and burrow into the egg. And it also only contains half the number of chromosomes, so 23 chromosomes. So when it fertilizes an egg cell, you go and get a full number of cells. Right, next cell, a nerve cell. So nerve cells are extended throughout the body. They're designed to go and carry nerve impulses. <clears throat> the nerve cells, they've got an insulating coat, which means that nerve impulses can't go and jump from one nerve cell to another. Right, root hair cells we go and we find in plants. So they have a large surface area to volume ratio to help them go and absorb water out of the soil really quickly. And the final specialized cell that we just want to quick look at are muscle cells. So muscle cells are cells that go and contract and relax, which enable movement. Because they're moving, they require a large amount of energy, so have a large number of mitochondria. So uh, hopefully this will help you answer questions on, uh, on specialized cells. Uh, if this has been useful, don't forget to give it a like and, uh, and a follow would always be appreciated. Right. Thank you very much and good luck.